I don't know about you guys, but when I heard about these bit axes, I was instantly so excited to get one and just start mining to a pool and start earning myself a little bit of Bitcoin each and every day. And I started looking on YouTube to figure out how to do that. And I'm not going to lie, I was a little discouraged at first. There's not a single video that I could find on these bit axes where there's anybody saying that it's worthwhile to mine to a pool on this. It's like you got all these Bitcoin chads over here that don't realize that five cents a day does add up. As long as you hodl forever, those five cents a day can add up. We could show those Bitcoin Bitcoin whales who we are down here in the in the slums fighting in the trenches. But but yeah, I, I really couldn't find much of anybody talking about mining these um, pool mining. And I'm sure I will get a lot of heat because people would be like, wow, that's so stupid. Your electricity rate and yada yada. And that's absolutely correct. My electricity rate is horrendous and it makes no sense. I should just buy Bitcoin. Absolutely. But these things are so tiny. They're 20 watt units. I could easily run this on a micro solar setup where I don't have to pay any electricity. So that's actually going to be my goal with my four bit axes that I have bought. And as you can see, are sitting here mining to the brains mining pool today. So if you guys are also interested in small scale pool mining so that you can not gamble and still earn a little bit of Bitcoin, Come along with me on this journey and I will show you how you can also be making 20 cents in Bitcoin a day with your mini Bitaxe mining pool. So let's first go look at the uh, unit itself, why don't we? Okay, hopefully this is a little bit better camera setup here. So we've got everything ready to go to get our Bitaxe running. I actually like this little, the little 3D prints that they had that came with these guys. It's pretty nice. So. This kind of, and I bought mine from Pleb Power again. They have it right at the top. I do really like the ones that I got, and I got them on a discount with a code for like 150 bucks each, but there's a ton of places you can get these at. So if you go to bidax.org, which is the site for any information you want on these guys, which I think these things are super cool. Open source, you can download the PCBs, all of the firmware, all that kind of stuff. But up here you can click buy, and it'll just show you a list of wherever you live in the world where you can get some. So there's plenty for whatever country you're at. But yeah, I went with Pleb Power and they, they were great for me, so. Yeah, and it's got these little inserts you can just kind of click this into at the top and bottom. It doesn't hold it super secure, but it's, it's snug enough. And the whole thing can just sit right here like that look at that that is cool and then we just take the power cord i'm not going to worry about this cable being pretty or not oh uh oh fan moved and then oh okay it's just booting up so as it's booting up it's going to try and connect to whatever network but it's not going to have connection because it doesn't know our wi-fi yet so on my phone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the BitAx so that I can change the password settings and the Wi-Fi settings. And then once we do that, we will get over to the computer and that's where we can set everything else up. But once you have your Wi-Fi set up, I'll show that on the screen here, but once it's set up, a IP will show up somewhere on this screen afterwards. You can just use that IP on any web browser you use to pull up the Axe OS to configure the rest of the bit Axe. So let's go and move over to the computer now. Now that you have the IP on your bit Axe, you can take it and just paste it into your web browser and it'll take you to the Axe OS. As the GUI spools up, we should see it hashing right away, which we are. Yours will be hashing as well probably, but it's not gonna be going to one of your Bitcoin wallets. So. In order to change that, you just go to settings here, and here's where you'll set all of that up. So Stratum Host will be your like main wallet, or for me, it's a mining pool that you're sending your hash rate to. And then the fallback is if this falls off, then it'll just automatically go to the fallback. So most people say to set these up as a solo miner, just because you're not making really much of anything off of these. You're just gambling to hit a solo block, but 
I am not a gambling man at all, so I'm still doing mine to a pool first, and then my fallback is solo mining. But everywhere that I see, everybody's recommending this public pool if you are going to solo mine. I really don't know anything about it, but it just seemed like the most popular option, so that's what I'm using as well. So if you're doing that, you use publicpool.io, use this port, and then you would put your Bitcoin wallet in here, dot whatever you name your miner. So... For me, coming from Ethereum, it was actually pretty intimidating trying to figure out both mining to a pool and even just kind of getting a Bitcoin wallet in general. Just there were so many options and I didn't know what to choose and everything like that. So I ended up finding on Bitcoin.org, they have this really awesome tool that kind of walks you through a bunch of the Bitcoin wallet options. And you can even set like the criteria that are most important to you and it'll, you know, show you which ones are best at those categories than not and for me i ended up picking electrum for me i think it was mainly down to the fact that it's been around forever and it was open source so i went through the process i set up an electrum wallet which if you've ever set up a crypto wallet it's pretty straightforward it's similar to all the other ones that i've ever done just you know a little different flavor so once you have your wallet set up you'll go back here and yeah you'll just put your bitcoin wallet here baby miner there and um yeah you should be good to go you just save and reset the device and it'll uh start hashing to your solo mining pool but if you're like me and you don't want to gamble you want those five cents of bitcoin a day what you're going to do instead is you're going to join a mining pool um and that also was not it's it's not hard but i would say it was a little intimidating um at, at first as well so for me, I you know I did a little bit of Googling looking around, but I really liked the way that the Coin Bureau did their 2025 um, mining pool breakdown. They do a good job of talking about a lot of these big mining pools and all the different payout models, their fees, and everything like that. I ended up choosing the Brains pool for a couple reasons, but honestly the main reason because I think that it has a really great dashboard here. Um, it had the best dashboard out of all of them, but also because the minimum withdrawal is very low. So that's going to be important if you're only getting, you know, roughly five Bitcoin a day from a single one of these ASIC miners. So here on Braden's Academy, they walk you through how to actually set up mining to their pool. So, and I'll link all of these down in, in the description. So if you're going to use the Brains pool, you come over here to the Academy and they kind of walk you through how to do it, but you'll pick what server you're going to be using. Um, I don't know if it matters if you do V1 or V2. I know for V2, they say if you're using the Brains OS, you should be doing V2. I just did V1 because I'm not using the Brains OS and everything worked fine, but apparently it's supposed to work fine no matter which one you use. But So you'll just pick your server. You're going to copy over the URL and um, the port here. Is that what it's called? So URL goes here, um, useaststratumbrains.com for me, port 3333. And then it, I, I guess at this point you would have already set up a Brains account. I forgot to say that, but you'll have to set up an account for them. Um, but there's no KYC or anything like that, which is great. So you set up an account and then you'll put your account name here, dot whatever you named your Bitcoin miner to. Once you do that, you just save and reset your device and you will see your axe, uh, your bit axe will reset and, you know, the little title screen will come up and then it'll kind of scroll through everything and you'll see this, the stratum host that you are mining to. So if you are mining to USE stratum brains, that'll come across the screen. So that means that's where your Bitcoin terahash power is going to. So once you have that all set up, you can go to the brains pool dashboard here. So this is my dashboard, obviously. Um, as you can see, all of mine are already hashing here. So for you, when you first come here, it'll be down to zero, zero. But if you did set up an account, it'll already be showing you know, any activity if you have it. But you don't have to do anything on this dashboard. It's just here so you can monitor. So you're all set up. It just kind of takes a couple minutes. But really, for me, I think it took less than like two or three minutes for each of them to get them set up. So I walked away for a couple seconds. I came back to my dashboard and I saw it went from, you know, zero workers, zero hash rate to one, two, three, four. And then now we're sitting, you know, a little bit over four terahash a second. We have four bit axis, so that's perfect. I haven't done any overclocking or anything. That's exactly what I was expecting. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, I've been doing this already for a couple days. You know, I just got these things, so not long. But first day, I was just testing two of them out, and then I went up to three, and then the last three days, it's been 
the full four of them here, and it's been fairly consistent on both the Terra Hash side of things and on my rewards so far. Um, I'm sure I'll try and do an update in a month or something, and we'll see kind of what the brains rewards for one of these little guys can look like, but it's just a different way for you to look at um, your rewards here, and they graph it out as well. Um, but looking at my dashboard here, it does look like around 20 cents a day is kind of my expected rewards on these things, which honestly is phenomenal to me. Um, you know, like I said, let's forget about the electricity, but you know, we'll figure that out later. So I hope that that helps somebody else out there. Cause for me, it was definitely a little intimidating getting everything set up, but it actually is not difficult at all, especially if you are already into crypto, it'll be very simple, but but yeah, these bit axes are so cool. I absolutely recommend you get one. And um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more with this thing. So um, stay tuned. I hope I have some pretty cool stuff to show later. So see you guys then.